All right, let's speed run this shit. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. Ah, look at that, it's beautiful. It's inset by three tiles within the level pack in the dead center of our renderable space. And that is from this calculation here, J for jaw, Z for zenith, geometry layer. So this is for the section for when we are doing the enumeration procedure for the fractal brush. This is a sanity check here, and we have some function pointers. Uh, for the function we want to test and the randomizing function that we were using to kind of experiment with. So uh, down here, if we have executed for the first time, we're just going to increment the execution count. If we've executed more than once, we're going to increment the execution but execution counter, but we're also going to do all of this math right here to kind of randomize the output. Now, offset X and offset Y ended up not being used. They're marked as unused, because as I was experimenting with, I decided I didn't like the kind of yucky results of messing around with the center point. So the center point is fixed in these calculations, but how wide it is on the X or Y axis is being randomized. Then down here, here's where we're doing the actual settings. So the right area mask is always one bits for now because anything else is not supported. This is our U32 binary tile. This number is documented, but we don't have time to go over it. And here's the function we're testing, right? So the selection area here, and then we have the layer, the geometry layer, the right area mask, and the U32 binary tile. So actually, we might have time to go over this. So if we go down here, right? So this is the explanation of what this binary value means, right? So basically we're just setting a tile on the midground layer and not setting anything on the background and foreground uh, sub layers. So here's what we did in this video. And if you want a longer explanation, then you're gonna have to go here because we don't really have much time here. We can try to cover a little bit more. Data by system, some tags to find things. And then here's the counter that we've added to the Konomic data section. Uh, then down here in the Konomic function section, this is the function that we were looking at, the Konomic EBT key function section inside here. And then here, oh, here we are, back where we started within this block of code here. Okay, so like, subscribe, send money in the mail. I'm Kanji Coder, like and subscribe.